Hey guys, Jordan back with another unboxing. We're looking at the Sandberg Solar Power Bank today. This is 6,000 milliamp of storage capacity for charging your devices. But one thing we haven't, I haven't actually seen yet on a charger is the solar panel itself. And it's actually charging now, you can see, from just from the studio lights. Um, so this is something I wanted to check out. I saw it from Sarah to begin with, Apple Tech Girl. I'll put a link in the description below. And I thought, I've definitely got to check this out. So I did um, get hold of one. And so yeah, charge without electricity, backup power for outdoors. You can charge also any device that has a USB attachment. So in this case, I'll be using it on even my uh, uh, Note 3 or iPhone 5C or you know those kind of those kind of techy gadgets. But anything with a normal USB A um, connection. So we will now have a look around the box. So solar power back 6400 milliamp. Down the bottom, we've got a bit more information what you can use tablets, phones, cameras. On the back, we have got some information in different languages a portable charge via USB port on the built in solar cells, transfer the power to a mobile phone or other mobile device. But yeah, basically, um, it gives an impulse input voltage of 5 volts and output of 5.5. It will take 8 hours to charge via the USB or uh, 15 hours by laptop or 45 to 48 by solar um, and actually it's been like this since I've got it so it's actually been charging just on the side uh, it doesn't need the power that the studio lights has it will just charge just in general from ambient light so it's really cool um, just kind of like a like a ceiling light it's actually been charging by so uh, pretty awesome so taking a look at the accessory included this is the USB uh, mini cable that we will charge this device with you do get these with pretty much every charger that is a mobile device charger. And then the uh, solar charger itself. So 6400 milliamp, generally, that should give you a good two charges. I found um, in previous testing that it's a good uh, kind of two charges of an iPhone at least. So uh, you're, you're definitely safe for. Uh, for storage capacity and charging capacity with one of these. So we've got four lights down at the bottom. The first one that is indicated as red at the moment means it's actually charging itself now. If I cover this over, it will go out, you can see there. And then to turn it on, you simply press the button that's located underneath and then it will turn to, to we've got two blue, so that's two out of four. That shows us how fully charged it is, so that's halfway charged and then it'll be 75% and 100%. So it's currently halfway charged. Now on the top, we we'll just have a look around it as we go. So we've got a nice, this is a, not kind of rubber, but it's a nice grip texture uh, we have to this. And then on the bottom, we've got the power button, the USB connection, slightly wonky. Uh, and then the USB mini, which is where you're gonna charge it as well. So you've got your charging in and then charging out. And then you just press the power button to turn it on and off. See, there's two LEDs in there, one's at red and one's at blue. You can tell just by turning it slightly. Okay, uh, on the back, there is actually one of these protective stickers. Let's peel this off. Nice, get rid of that. So you go 6400 milliamp, a bit more information about the bottom. So uh, it's certified, recyclable, uh, made in China. It has actually got grippy feet on the bottom as well, so uh, let's just kind of stop it sliding about while it's uh, on the surface. But what we'll do is we'll give this a thorough charging. Uh, you can just about see the sounds there actually. Um, we'll give this a thorough charge. I will probably try uh, leaving it in the window for a couple of days and uh, also by the, the USB. And we'll test it both ways and we'll give you a review very shortly. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for Sandberg for sending this out for review. And we will give you that review as soon as possible. But thank you for watching, guys. Please follow me on the Twitter. Link is down below where I will give you all the information about what's going to go live before anywhere else. So that's your kind of your news feed of videos uh, up on there. So uh, go and mention me if you fancy a chat as well. But as for now, thank you for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video.